Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Tuesday, August 23rd. It is 12.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I just wanted to go over a quick uh, follow-up on a blog we did yesterday. So, looked at Goog yesterday for a day trade opportunity. We had mentioned here in this blog right here on tickertank.tumblr.com that, uh, you know, Goog had a really nice bull gap to the upside. Let me click on the image. So, we had this really nice upside bullish gap to start the day some consolidation between 502 and 50650 we noted that Google was breaking below 502 consolidation support and getting into this opening bull gap and we noted you know that was a good short opportunity on a retracement back towards this 502 uh, consolidation support turned resistance stopped right around 503.22 was our suggestion there as well and a target right around 495 so let's see what happened here and again, you can refer back to this blog from yesterday for all the specific details. Basically, everything we just discussed was written out here in text. Uh, so take a look at Goog, and this is yesterday's action in Goog. So about here is where we wrote the blog, right there where I'm circling the blue oval. And you can see we mentioned wait for a retracement back to 502. So right about here is where you would have entered. It did get as high, intraday high, of 502.76. But that's well below the suggested 503.22 stop, which is signified by this wide red oval. It's not precise, but you know, general vicinity. And uh, here is our, you know, this green oval at the bottom signifies the suggested target right around 495. And as you can see, the stock after retracing to 502 consolidation support term resistance, it did fade all the way down. It had an actual intraday low right here at. Let's see, 494.54. You know, it really spent some time in the 40, in the in the 495 level. So you can see it found support right around 495. So all in all, that would that was a great trade idea setup. Just wanted to follow up there and uh, show you the, the the reason we suggested this again is because there was just a really nice setup after the intraday bullish gap. We had firm support right there at 502. We noted the quick break below 502 support. We're looking for a retracement back towards 502 support turn resistance to get a you know a primo entry, and that gives you a really solid reward to risk situation because you're only risking you know a buck 25 with that uh, 503.22 stop, so essentially a buck 25 uh, to make seven points. So the reward to risk there is extremely attractive, and it just it's a it's one of those trades that made a lot of sense. So we put it out on the blog it worked out quite well and just kinda wanted to do a quick follow-up to show you how well this trade did work and reiterate why we were interested in the trade in the first place you know, the nice the nice technical situation coupled with the attractive reward to risk scenario so all in all if you have any further questions about this trade feel free to email info at ticker tank or nick at tickertank.com